Hello, and welcome back to our live coverage from CES for Of All Things AI. It's day two, uh, January 10th, and we have as our guest Pedro Pachuca, director of the IoT segment from Global Foundries, which is also a partner with Brainchip. Welcome, Pedro. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mandan. Uh, so, uh, well, you've had a bit of time over the last couple of days to see what's going on at CES. Uh, have you been to CES before? If so, what's different this time? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I, I think um, the CES, you know, the drinking game now is AI. So AI is all over from cosmetics, you know, people um, doing cosmetics, all the people doing vehicles, people doing high uh, tech. AI is in every every application these days. And, you know, what you're saying effectively is it's everywhere. Great. Correct. You are seeing devices that are closer to the, the consumer? Yeah. Yeah. You know, there are uh, uh, many people deploying cameras, for example, that are pretty close to the consumer. Vehicles also integrating, you know, the uh, full driving capability that is pretty close to the uh, to the user. Yes, absolutely. There is something that is very tangible to the consumer. And I believe this is one of the major impacts of the AI, the proximity to the consumer. Yeah, that makes sense. And so what you're also saying is, especially from your standpoint as um, IoT, there's a lot more happening at the edge than you saw in the last few years, right? And so what is it about um, IoT that Global Foundry sees as their step forward that you can tell us about? Yeah, well, definitely, you know, the, the IoT market is adopting AI at the edge. Uh, you know, benefits of latency, benefits on sec security and privacy are, you know, keeping people uh, moving at the edge on, on the AI. So, but, you know, when you move at the edge, so you now need to uh, compromise with power, power consumption, efficiency. So uh, the need from the market basically are solutions like the one that you guys are bringing into the market that are, you know, very power efficient solutions. And also they are very capable to run multiple AI applications at the edge. They are very versatile applications. Now, that's very well put, right? So we, I mean, thank you for partnering with us on the AKD 1500. The 22 nanometer of DSOI or FDX process mm -hmm. has been a great one for especially always on mm -hmm. uh, low leakage, high battery life of applications, but also for applications that are thermally bound. So we need lower cost packaging. And that's where a, a lot of the foundry technology helps. So uh, in terms of FDX, etc. Uh, how do you look at um, the opportunity for global foundries and potentially partners like Brainchip working with you to get there? Yeah, yeah. No, you know, definitely 22 FDX is the right technology for the AI. Basically, the core value proposition of 22 FDX is the low power, and we have the uh, adapted body bias that basically enables the customer to fine tune the power consumption and the performance of the product. So that's a very unique ability that you can find only in the 22 FDX technology. The other big capability that many people is taking advantage is when you are deploying a solution at the edge, mm -hmm. it's not only the inference model. The inference model is crucial, the AI. However, they still need to provide sensor communication. They need to integrate wireless communication. So 22 FDX basically brings the best integration for all these analog RF sensor capabilities in one monolithic solution. I think you hit a very important nail on the head there, which is anything that needs to be done at the edge is not just the compute aspect, but efficient sensing, mm -hmm. right? Which is a critical part of getting it right. And if you can marry the right analog and, and sensor technology with the right digital technology, you have a winner at the edge. That's right? correct. That's correct. Um, speaking of which, you know, you've been to our booth, and you've seen uh, the demonstrations we have and proofs of concept that we've done with partners, including with the AKD 1500, which is based off of the FDX process. What do you think? Well, you know, to be honest, what is really eye opening on what you guys are doing is to enable this scalability of products. This is just impressive. So from the customers, uh, as soon as they do one design, they can easily scale 
to the next design using the foundation uh, that you guys are creating for them. So uh, I believe this is a big disruption in the market, creating that scalability in, in, in the product. Yeah. Well, thanks, Pedro. I, I hope uh, that continues and us working together to uh, take this forward. Absolutely. Thanks for showing up and have a great show. Thank you. Bye.